to my channel today. I'm going to be doing an exciting video. If you guys have been on my social media, because this video will be up after, you will probably have already noticed or seen that it was my 21st birthday last week, I'm thinking, is when I'll upload this video. So last week was my 21st and I am doing a get ready with me. So right now it is my 21st and I'm going to show you my makeup. I don't know if I'll show you my hair because I'm just going to there's wind outside if you can hear that. I don't know if I'm going to show you my hair because I haven't decided what I'm going to do with my hair and also I might just kind of curl it and I've shown you that so many times. So if I do just decide to curl my hair what I'm going to do is I'm going to link videos in the past where I've curled my hair so you can just go and watch them if you really need to see how to curl hair. But I'll show you my makeup, my um, dress as well and then there's also going to be probably in a separate video a whole vlog of my birthday so two videos check out the vlog today's going to be a get ready with me though I've just kind of quickly sleeked my hair back I actually kind of like this it's quite cool but I've just pinned it back so that I have a fresh face to work with and I've got a white bando on for the time being because I don't want to get makeup on my dress so yeah also sorry I'm talking really fast I'm not rushed but like I do want to get ready in a good amount of time. This video is also going to be like a voiceover style because again I really want to focus on my makeup and I don't have much time so yeah just sit back hope you like the video and let me know what you think. Let's go. So to start off I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown face base as a primer to get ourselves started so I'm just putting this all over my face then on the high points of my face I'm going to be taking a primer from MUA, this is the Prism Strobe Cream and I'm popping that on my cheekbones and then also around my brow bone as well. Then for foundation I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick Foundation. This is in a super dark shade, this is the shade Golden Beige 190 and I'm also taking that on a beauty blender, spraying it with my MAC Fix Plus so that it hopefully stays a little bit longer throughout the night. Then for concealer, I didn't show it completely close up, but this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW20. And again, using my Beauty Blender with some Fix Plus to blend that all into my face. Okay, so to set all that, I firstly tried to use my Laura Mercier setting powder, but it was pretty empty, so I used the last bits of it on my face and then had to put it to bed. So I'm just using the Banana Dreams Loose Powder from W7. It is a complete contrast in price, but it's just as good and I love it. So there's no problem in using a super cheap powder. So for bronzer, I'm pretending I'm an ASMR person, ignore that. For bronzer, I'm going to be taking the middle shade which I have, which is a warm fair shade and it's the shade Bad Habit. So I'm just taking that and blending it, giving myself a really nice contour. And then for blusher, I'm going to be taking another Makeup Geek um, face product. This one is the lightest one I have, which is the blush in the shade Blind Date. Then for highlighter, I'm taking my Jaclyn Hill palette and taking kind of a mixture, I'd say, of both. I know I just showed you using the gold one, but I definitely did go in and use both of them on the high points of my face. And then also bringing that on to my nose and cupid's bow. Then using the Lottie Shimmer Squad, I'm going to be taking the super white highlighter from that and putting that on to my chest area. Moving on to eyes, I'm going to be taking the Master Series Palette 1 from Blank Canvas Cosmetics and firstly setting a base using a combination of the shades Lily and Core. Then for a transition shade, I'm going to be using the shade Strut and blending that all into my crease but I'll also be blending that lower down onto my eyelid which you'll see that I do in a couple seconds. I'm basically going for a really blown out kind of just all over matte brown smoky look. So we're just going to keep going darker and darker so I'm taking the shade Carmen and packing that on to the center of my lid and blending that out into the crease so I basically just keep going back in with my transition shade. 
You can see here I'm using my highlighter brush here to blend away any of the fallout and that's me right now going in with the big fluffy transition brush to blend everything out. Then even darker I'm taking the shade Downtown from the palette and putting that again on my lid to get a really dark smoky look going on and then again blending that all out to make sure we've got no harsh lines. For underneath my eye, I'm going to be taking the transition shade which was called Strut and putting that underneath my eyes and then I think I did go back in and make it a little bit darker with the shade Carmen. Then with a pencil from Lottie, this is a black liner, I'm just putting that onto my waterline. I did also put it onto my waterline above, you know, on the top lash line, but I didn't show myself filming that because I needed a proper mirror and I needed to concentrate for that. Then for eyebrows, I'm taking this one which is by MUA. I love this brow pomade, it's super, super soft and easy to work with. My one is in the shade light brown if you are wondering and that's the shade that you can see right now. After that I went in with a combination of the shade Goddess and Lily from the palette and just put that on my brow bone now that I'd completed my brows so I can get an extra kind of pop and highlight and also to get rid of any excess transition shade that was too high up. Then for mascara I'm taking this one which is by Model Zone. It's honestly not my favourite I wouldn't say but I am putting lashes on anyway so it didn't really matter. I just wanted something there to get us started. You can also see my sister coming in and out because we were getting ready to get she was using my makeup. For eyelashes I'm using the Wispies by Ardell. I usually use the Demi Wispies but these ones are just a tiny bit more dramatic so I did them off camera. Then for lips I'm using the lip paint, the matte lip paint from L'Oreal in the shade Dead Lips which is 210. Sorry about the lighting, it did get darker and darker throughout this video so quality didn't get that great. Anyway, this is the completed um, makeup. I really hope that you like it. It's pretty kind of natural and nothing too heavy because I didn't want anything that was going to kind of rub off throughout the night or be a hassle to upkeep and make me feel self-conscious about my appearance. So this is just really nice and fairly natural. Okay, so my makeup has been done. I just decided to go for dark kind of smoky eyes. I think they're a little bit uneven, but you know what? I'm not a makeup artist. I'm never gonna get it perfect. And I'm just going to curl my hair, I think, now. I'm gonna do middle parting and then beachy kind of waves. As I said at the start of this video, there will be a couple links down below on different ways that I have curled my hair in the past. So if you wanna watch those videos and see how I curl my hair, then I will do that. But I'm just gonna quickly go away and do that really quickly now because I can do it better with a mirror and not using the viewfinder. So much easier. Um, and then I will show you what I'm wearing. So this is my hair as it is, like as I've finished it, I'm just gonna leave it to drop overnight naturally and it'll become a little bit more like wavy. The dress which I'm wearing, I'm gonna go back in a minute and just show you the full thing, but it's from Sisters the Label, is the beautiful box which it came in if you're interested to see kind of their logo and their brand. And this is the dress, they do loads of this kind of material Loads of different variations of the this like material and this kind of style. So I'm going to show you this one. I absolutely love it. It is so pretty. It's quite short on me because I am nearly six foot, but that is natural because I'm nearly six foot. And most dresses are pretty short on me, but I absolutely love it. So thank you to them for very kindly giving it to me. So for like a quick close up, it looks like this. It's got the cowl neck front, and then you get this little tie at the waist as well. So if you want, you can kind of pull it and make it a bit looser and you can tighten that, whatever. At the back it drops down so I'm not wearing a bra with this at all and I've just got like a small gold chain necklace that's going down my back. What's nice about this dress as well is you can tie it and adjust it to the length which you want so I've left it to go down quite low to get the most length out of it but you can obviously if you want to you can bring it all the way up here and be less revealing. Um, not that I'm revealing anything. So to go back hopefully you can see this a bit better this is what it looks like as a full length dress. Hopefully you can get a good idea of what it looks like. I'll also be doing a complete vlog of my birthday, so if you wanna see clips of me walking around, chatting to people, dancing, all that sort of stuff in this outfit, then you can also check that video out. So it's got two videos with this outfit in it. Also to show you my jewelry, I'm wearing this. Please excuse the light, it's just so 
dark outside now, but this is like a gold bangle. And then my earrings are from this place really close to me. It's like a boutique shop called The Refinery. Or is it called The Refinery? I'll write it down below if you want to go. If you're in Edinburgh, you can check it out. Um, but it is a local shop. And then my necklace is from... Um, where is it from? I think it's from like Zaffle or something actually. It's very, very cheap. So guys, I just wanted to quickly show you my outfit again, a little bit more without me rambling. Um, again, apologies for the lighting, it did get super dark, even though it was only like 7 in the evening, but lighting wasn't that great. So this is my beautiful dress which I wore for my birthday, I absolutely loved it, it stayed and looked amazing all night and I couldn't have asked for a better dress to celebrate my 21st with. So thank you so much for watching, I really hope that you enjoyed watching this Get Ready With Me. If you want to check out my vlog, I will have it linked in the description box if it's already up. And if not, then definitely look out for it coming in the next couple of days. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys!